All right, so my computer, we only do 1080p, and my video editor, we only max out at 1080p, so I'm going to make a video today, and, uh, and um, edit it and see what 1080p resolution is, good or bad. I don't know. It's either that or I got to get, um, I, want, I know I got to get another video editor because I really like these videos to be in 4K. So, so today we're just testing out the camera for 1080p because, um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to, uh, pay the money for a new computer or new software for a video editor or not not too sure all right stay tuned 1080p today not 4k so it's rush hour so you never know we're gonna get a cluster of cars I call them rats going to work that's what it seems like scurrying rats but uh, this particular road has a bike lane, and that's what we're on right now. And I need to switch gears. Need to switch gears. Stay tuned. I'll be to Zane. So we're testing out the camera today for 1080p. Seeing if that's going to be reasonable enough. I don't know. I'd like to do it in 4K. The camera does 4K. So... And I'm still dealing with the wind. So this camera's got good points and a lot of bad points. But it's still the best camera I've had so far. All right, stay tuned. I'll be to Zane. Jimmy here. I'm going to show you the new camera I bought. I'll try to show you anyway. So this is it. This just screws off. This is just like a holder or a tripod. And right here, look how little that screen is. Look how little these dials are. And then this is the uh, video screen, okay? So let me turn it on real quick. And see now, this part will come off. Okay, so that's your gimbal, that's your camera. This still works, okay? You control the camera with this. This could go on top of my head, on my helmet, it's magnetic. It will go on top of the car too, and uh, or the side of the car. Yes, and it actually works well, okay? It does work well. Okay, so you can move it, just with the joystick like that, or I can press it three times and it'll look towards me, okay? and press it three times it'll go back so and it'll zoom in <clears throat> but you can see how small these dials are that's the on and off that's the switch back and forth that's it to rotate um i got this little paper here where the mic is and i got a little piece of paper here with holes in it where the mic is because i'm trying to find out how to get rid of the wind noise because see with with the gimbal you can keep the camera straight and go ahead and move it. And that way you won't get any wind noise. That's one thing I gotta practice, okay? So that's pretty cool. This magnet is very, very powerful. And I have stuck it on the car and went down the road with no problem. It is very, very heavy. So this part here is just easier to hang on and it's a tripod, see the hole? Okay, so on my bike, I also have a holder where I can screw this on, but I'm not too, I don't know, I'm not too, um, you know, happy about this because it just clips on and I'm afraid of, if I screw this on my handlebar holder and, and use it like that, this thing's going to pop off because, see, now you can take this and put it like 30, 40 feet away from you and still control it with this. Okay, so that's where we're at.
So I was having problems, and I don't know if it's because my computer only does 1080p or what, but as I pan up towards the trees, to the not to the top, but, but upper, upper towards the trees, it gets all foggy and grainy and, and shit. So I don't know. I got so many issues. I got to ask questions about it. It's hard to get an answer out of anybody. Because you know what the old saying, everybody has an ass. Everybody has an opinion. So you don't know who, which opinion you should trust. So if 1080p works, I'm just going to stay with it. Alright, stay tuned. I'll be to Zane. My bike's squeaking also and it's driving me nuts. It's like squeak, 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 squeak. I can't find out what the WD-40 is. So I don't want to spray it near my brakes because that'll screw up the disc brakes. So it's just click, 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 click. It's not even a click, it's a chirp, chirp, chirp. Driving me nuts. All right, stay tuned. There's the monkeys going to work. Finally got some shade, that's good, because it's Florida and it's hot. Although it's still early, it's not even nine o'clock yet, it's still hot. So we like to, um, especially in the summertime, it's a must. You must get up by seven or eight o'clock and get out by nine. At the latest nine o'clock, I'm telling you. And get down by 12 and at the latest one. That's how the bike works. Because in the summertime, it is hot. I bought three of these clips. Let me show you. It's right there. See? That'll screw right onto the camera. But, um,. I only, I only use that when I got my actual gimbal lens, the gimbal lens on top of my helmet, and then the stick will be screwed on to the handlebars. I'm not too comfortable with screwing the whole thing on there because, like I said, this camera's two parts. That other gimbal lens could pop off. I just don't trust it yet. So, but I got one for the scooter and the e-cargo bike. Yeah, it seems like when you get to a lot of green, the color starts getting distorted and pixelated. So, I'm not too sure what that's all about. All right, stay tuned. I'll be the same. big bump there but I know you didn't feel it because one good thing about this camera it's got excellent stabilization I really want the video to be really crisp you know because I want people to feel like they're on the ride with me that's that's what I'm trying to get at you know I want it to be smooth down I'll put it up a little bit there I'll put it down a little bit there. See, when you get too close to the hedges like that, it gets all blurry and shit. So, I gotta figure it out, man. Gotta figure it out. All right, stay tuned. We're in Winter Park, Florida, by the way. Going downtown to Fluent. Fluent is a cannabis 
dispensary, and that's where we're headed. Alveda Zane. Still trying to cup the mic too, so the wind doesn't blow through there. This one video I'm looking at, Cap Cap Cut, I think it's called Cap Cut. It should take out the wind noise too. It says it takes out excess noise. So that's the one I could do 4K on and get away with it. But today I'm just trying 1080p just to play back the video. And if it's grainy like it usually is, then I'm going with cap cut and uh, use that as my video editor. And it should take care of everything. All right, stay tuned. We're headed to Fluent Cannabis Dispensary to get some herb. I'll be to Zane. So I had, when I took this camera apart, you know, the, the top has a gimbal, and that's where the lens is. And putting it back on, I had some trouble because it wouldn't clip in there right. So... So for the first week I had it, I'm trying to clip the gimbal uh, lens back on. And uh, today I figured it out, it clipped on there pretty good. So I feel comfortably with uh, holding it in my hand. But uh, I was gonna buy another one, I still might. But I think I'm gonna wait till, I think I'm gonna wait till they might come out with a, a different version that's a little bit better. Because uh, I like the fact that you can move the camera and still have the handler and be 40 feet away. I mean, I'd pay more for a camera that's uh, a little bit more safer, so to speak. It's not, it's not a cheap camera, it's just cheaply made. There's a big difference. All right, stay tuned. I'll be to Zane. You know the drill. All right, all right, all right. Lou Gardens is to your right. It's just what it is. It's a garden. All right, stay tuned, I'll view it as a. Wind's blown kind of hard, wind's blown kind of hard, so I'm cupping the mic here. Seeing if that helps any. Okay, so we're on this trail that um, I've only been on one other time. Looks like they're mowing grass too. Nice vagina. All right. So we're on this trail. Looks like uh, dude's blowing shit everywhere. So you don't know if he's gonna stop or what. So he's probably not gonna stop. I don't know if he's gonna stop or not. Let's find out. I guess he's going to stop. It's too late. I can hardly feel it in my eyes. Alright, so like I said, we're on this uh, little trail. Let's see where it goes. I was on it once before.
so to the left, got some water action. This is by the Science Center. That's right. This is by the Science Center. Oh, geez, I'm right here. All right, turn that thing around, man. I didn't know it was like that. I got something over here, too. All right, I'm still trying to get used to the camera. You don't have to move it. You can just flick the switch and it'll move right and left. You don't have to move the actual camera. I'm still trying to get used to that. Let's see, before I went the other way. I think the last time I was here, they were having some sort of event. Event. All right, back on the bumpy street. Uh, let's see. Which way to go? Let's see. I'll down the gears and go up this steep hill here. Oh my God. Shifting gears, holding the video camera, watching where I'm going. Jesus Christ. All right, so anyway, we're trying out the camera today for 1080p because I haven't made a decision yet with to get a, another video editor that'll do 4K or not. And uh, we're just taking a bike ride down to Orlando from Castleberry to go to the uh, Fluent Cannabis Dispensary and that's where I get my medicine. That's where we're headed to today. And it's right down the street. Right down the street. Stay tuned. So this is Princeton and Orange. Real close to downtown. Oh, we just missed the train. Let's see if the sidewalk's closed or not. Looks like it might be. Sidewalk is closed. But we're going to get up on it anyway, right here. Pretty sure it opens up at nine o'clock. This is the busy one, the fluent dispensary. This one's the busy one down here. All right, let's see if it's open or not. It should be. Yep, I see somebody coming out. So it's definitely open. Fluent dispensary. All right, we're going inside. I'll be to Zane. Sort of downtown. Down there is... Uh, Orlando and so this is like my 10 mile mark if I'm coming this direction this is like 10 miles so I usually like take a break you know and behind me 
is this massive, massive apartment condo center. They got a pool right on the top there. Yeah, yeah. Pretty expensive. Okay, so uh, what we're doing today, we're testing the camera for 1080p. It can do 4K. My video editor doesn't do 4K, only does 1080, and my laptop maxes out at 1080. So today I'm doing a video. I'm going to download it, edit it, and see, play it back, see how the clarity is. If it's good enough, then I'm going to stick with it. If it's not, I'm going to go ahead and get another video editor that's, uh, that's going to be 4K and uh, leave it at that. Okay, so we're taking a break. We're at Lake Ivanhoe. Right down there is downtown Orlando. Right there's I-4, and uh, stay tuned, I'll be to Zane. Where the, where the pixels and the color gets real bad is when you go from bright light to shade. It just doesn't lock it in right. And I'm trying to find out if that was because of my video editor or the 4K or the computer. So That a boy. So we'll do a little bit more videotaping before we go home. And uh, just cruising around today. It's kind of nice and shady in some spots, but mostly it's really sunny. And it's really hot now because it's June in Florida. And it is hot. So I think it's about 10:30 now, maybe quarter to 11. Definitely want to be done by 12 o'clock, though. Public supermarket. Prices are so high, I think a bag of chips now is eight bucks, seven something. This is such a rip off. This country's such a shithole right now. I don't see it ever getting any better either. Ever getting any better. Never. Never again. I right, got some bun action there. All right, stay tuned, I'll view the Zane. All right, remember the chirp, chirp, chirp I was telling you about? Something was rubbing. It's not my brakes. That's the first thing you think of. It's not my brake. So it was something else, because the other day, the other day I got caught in the rain and I didn't wipe my bike down. I should have wiped it down. and I'm sure that had something to do with it, but guess what? I don't hear it anymore. It was driving me nuts. Chip, 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 chip. So whatever happened, it's gone now. Just a smooth ride.
Wow, look at this. Oh, this is a pool. This is a light pool. I thought it was a tree for a minute. Huh. That's pretty wild. Okay, so we're headed back to the house and uh, really getting cloudy now, which is great. Oh, big bump, hang on. Ugh. It's a big bump there. All right, stay tuned. We are just about five miles from the house. Safety first. Pretty snaky sidewalk. Oh, bike trail's right up here. Gotta get back on it. All right, so we're headed back to the house. We're getting close. It'll be a little while, <clears throat> but I should be there by noon. It's starting to get hot, 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 hot. All right, so that mansion is right up here. Building it, they've been building it for I think at least five years. And they put in some massive trees. You would think they were here all along. You got the wall, they put up this wall, then the bushes. I'm pretty sure I got footage of other stuff of this. Let's take a gander inside. I'm gonna park the bike here. Park the bike here, show you around real quick. But all these rocks, all these trees that you see, they put them in here. So, of course the rocks they put them in. But you'd see all these trees. They put these trees in here. These trees weren't here before. All right. This is pretty cool, man. So, we like to check into this area if we're going through Winter Park or whatever. We like to check into this area and see how it's doing. Maybe when they get it built, I'll be riding my bike by one day and find out who owns this place. Stay tuned. We're almost at the house. I'll be the Zane.
so I'm signing off for now, and I'm going to go back and see if 1080p is going to be good enough. I really want to do 4K, though. So that's what this video was all about, playing it back and seeing if 1080 is going to be good enough. But I know it's not going to be good enough. Until next time, I'll be the same.